guys, welcome back. Fast after the last one, but like I said, it's gonna be worth it. I uh, I was talking to a guy uh, from I met through a friend of mine, and uh, he had an unbelievable collection. I mean, the Excel file went on and on and on and on. And there were one or two people who had been um, cherry picking, but there was a lot of good stuff. A lot of records I've been saving myself for, so to say. Um, no, a lot of records that I haven't bought because I wanted this one, this edition, and not um, and nothing else. Um, this wasn't my cheapest record buy, and after this, there won't be as much updates anymore because this decimated my year budget. But anyway, um, let's start. I'm just gonna pull them out. First one I got was something he just gave me. This is not one of my picks, but anyway. Leviathan, Hall Mockery at the Cross. This is a sort of demo collection. You should, you should have seen this collection. He sold one third and there were still like three cabinets knocked. So unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. This is the uh, Funeral Industries uh, Moribond Records repress. He just gave this to me, so that says something about what I got from him. This is old material from Leviathan, not gonna give it too much attention. Good record, especially if it's free. Okay, on to the show. First one, Magla, Presence, Original Pressing. Uh, this is on Northern Heritage, of course. All these records are in mint condition, I would say, or near mint. Uh, Magla, Presence, everybody is fawning over the um, exercise and futility, as everybody should. This is a once. This is the first time I'm pulling them out, so. This is a one-sided, with a lot of dead wax, 12-inch. Um, this came also on a compilation with the Further Down the Nest, I think. But I'm not, don't pin me down on that one. This comes with a lyrics sheet he put in a cut-up jacket. So, you know, these records are cared for. He was just tired of collecting, so um, he said before the vinyl market collapses on itself, he, uh, he was selling. And his prices were fair, but in a Discox world, everybody knows what a record is worth. So yeah, that was the first one, presents. Then, I'm just going to put them out in order, because... This is the Tribulation, the horror. Um, this is their first full length. I don't think they had anything before this one. This is on uh, Blood Harvest from 2009. Cool little artwork. This is the only one I was missing from Tribulation. Um, great record. This was when they were more um, death metal band. This is a Gatefold. And this is the Die Hard edition. So it comes with some extra stuff. There is a booklet, the horror with the lyrics. It has a Watain feel to it, I would say, with the same color schemes. Some vampire themed stuff. Then it comes with the coffin shaped poster. A little dusty. A really cool thing. And then, like I said, the gatefold is them screaming and looking all evil in the grim. Tribulation is a weird band. Uh, not a weird band, but they made a made a cool. They have a cool arc in their music and stuff. Nothing much about the record, and there is nothing more in here. It's great that. Uh, to discover these records together. So yeah, this was on my want list for some time. And like I said, these are not the cheapest records, but 
when you find a collection like this, you have to pounce, you know. And it took me a while to get to them because uh, tribulation, the horror. On the back is still that uh, that Vaza record, if you are interested. Then next, yeah, hatred for mankind. Dragon to sunlight. Finally have this one. Um, yeah, like I said, these are all records I uh, that eluded me or. I was too late getting them. Oh man. <clears throat> the lyrics sheet with the classic eye triangle. There they are. Here is one guy with the bala balaclava. Some lyrics on there. Great looking artwork. I'll open the gatefold. This is a Justin Bartlett's design, I think. I'm pretty sure. It is on Mordgrim, myspace.mordgrim. So you know it's old. This is the, oh yeah, the insert. It's the live prop they use. Boiled angel buried with leashes. Yeah, unbelievable cool record. And if you get the chance to see them, they're playing Maryland Deathfest right now, but if you have the chance to see these guys live, this is maybe the thickest record I've ever seen. This has got to be more than one. I'm not sure. Uh, nice little more Kim center label. The moon. back in. Because, yeah, if I ever have kids, this will put them through college. This stuff. So that's that. This is a, I think, somewhere in the 2008 or something like that. No, it should be a brother, maybe. I'm not sure. There you go. Hatred for mankind. That kind of puts the moods. Um, next one. Spears like that. Throne of the Thirteen Witch. Mare. Um, yeah, this is a compilation. This is on Territory Records. This is a compilation of the um, 12 inch uh, Spears like that. And then Throne of the Thirteen Witch was a 7 inch. Uh, Mare, Norwegian black metal, third wave, I think. Comes with a printed inner sleeve with the lyrics on here. Recorded under December full moon in 06. Nidrosian moon set. This is on red. And this is transparent. Clear red. Beautiful record. So glad to have this one in the collection. So glad. Nice cover art. It's lighter than I uh, imagined it to be. It's, it's gray rather than black. Awesome. And since we were on a kick, I got this one too. This is the original Spheres Like Death. Uh, is it Spheres Like Death 12 inch? Yeah, I think so. This is the original pressing, also on Terratuf. Uh, Nidrosian Moon Sabbath, Fears Like That, and Nacht, My Walls, Invocation of the Succubus, and Offerlon. Johnny Pavix, Pavik, and Tontheim. This is a split between um, Terratuf and Werewolf recordings. I like the artwork on the uh, new press better, actually. Same print inner with a uh, Really grim looking picture there. This is on black with another dead wax B side. A lot of dead wax. Maybe that's the title. I like it that way, and I don't like it. I mean, it's always a missed opportunity. So, yeah. 
double mare. We're not even halfway through. Uh, this is Creeps Machine, and you have to forgive me for this one. This, this is the band before uh, Magla, I think. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure. This is on Total Scout 2005, so this is pre Magla. A really textured, really beautiful textured sleeve. And it's called At Maiorem Satane Gloriam. Altered States of Divinity is the title. It comes packed with a lot of stuff. It has a printed inner sleeve, Altered State of Divinity. That's the title, not the, uh, not the Latin stuff. 2005. Take Black Records. Nothing really special. But I haven't seen these pop up in videos, so maybe it's worth showing them a bit. Uh, here we go. Obligatory metal posters. There are two posters in here. This one is cool. All the states of divinity. Yeah. Like I said, all beautiful records, all uh, in perfect condition. Yeah, qu quite a nice setup there. This guy, he was 26. That blew my mind. Must have had a great paper route to get all these records. But if you ran from the bottom floor, ah, I don't know. Crease Machine, Enemy of Man. Nice. Untextured sleeve. I hope that shows up. Because the artwork is dark. None shall see redemption lies at the Father's farewell to grace, as asceticism, wow, and passion, to ashen havens and enemy of man. This is on No Solace. Oh yeah, 2014. So this is on the uh, label. This is a better view from the artwork. This is on the same label Magla puts out. I think it's their label. It comes in a plastic sleeve. Creeks machine. I'm gonna leave it out of the sleeve, actually. Does it have anything else? No. And like I said, you have to forgive me because I don't know a lot about this band. I imagine it's Prima Glaw would sound like Creek's Machine. Okay, on with the show. This one um, <clears throat> I was doubting to pick up because it's not the original original, but it's original enough. This is Mayhem de Messieurs Dom Satanas. I hope the prizes won't show up. Um, this is quite a heavy record. It says a tribute to Euronymous. 86, 93, run was in Hellhammer. This is, um, it says license from Papa, Voices of Wonder, and this is on uh, Anti Mosh DSP. This is limited to 666, of course. Wow, this is a heavy freaking right This is maybe the most black metal for records. Black Metal ever produced. It is a gatefold. Now you know where Down has gotten his artwork. Anti Wash. Death Like Silence Productions. That's what um, DSP stands for. So, yeah, absolute classic. This uh, is a repress, but from some time ago. This is the printed in her sleeve. Black, Black Mayhem. The record is black, of course. With the faces again. All in primo condition. It comes with two posters. One is Euronymous drawing of him. His nephew did maybe. And this is the front cover in grey. And it comes with this big ass booklet. Um, yeah. A lot of skulls. Lyrics. Little devil. Yeah, a 
absolute classic. There is a photo, some liner notes in there. I imagine the entire story is in here. A Norwegian tech. Yeah, this is um, really, really nice records. The mysteries. Gonna put that in later. Let's put on side B. If I seem like I can't believe what I'm showing, it's because I can't believe what I'm showing. Um, next one. Again, total classic, of course. Um, yeah, Celtic Frost, to Megatherion, Gatefold, Mr. Town G, and his consorts, consorts, how you say it. Nice Giger artwork. This is on, what way was this? Noise, a division of modern music. German pressing, I think. Uh, original inner sleeve. Little crackling on there. A little, little dirt, but um, not a scratch on here. I mean, give me a discount on this one. So yeah, like I said, absolute classic. Really glad to finally have this one too. Look at those outfits and haircuts. Then, Midnight, complete and total fucking Midnight. Um, yeah, <laughs> fucking unbelievable. This is on uh, Nuclear War Now. No, anti-god it says, but that's Nuclear War Now. I'm not sure. A lot of cleavage. And cock rock pictures on the inners on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the inner gatefold. Um, yeah, great lineup. This is a, a compilation of all the earlier material. Printed inner sleeves, and this is on black. Black with the bell. Uh, it doesn't come with anything else. No. All songs by Atena. This is a one-man project, actually, but um, it sure sounds like a full band. This guy, this is also just on black. So yeah, complete and total fucking midnights. I cherry picked this one out of the wreck when I was leaving. Cool record. Nice to have. I'm sorry. Uh, we're almost true, I think. Three left, but these three are the reason I went over there because this is literally as good as all this is. This is what I was looking for all these years. This is uh, Devil's Blood Come Reap, the Die Hard edition with the blood still smeared on it on the outer sleeve so there blood and there and there he got it at a live show he said um, so yeah it, it's some <laughs> residual blood come reap river of gold the heavens cry out for the devil's blood white faces which is now the new band from Farida and full dust on van records wax seal on there nice looking artwork it falls open like this. And these are all the lavish editions. Very nicely done, of course. Devil's Blood. I mean, this is um, this stuff I didn't think I was going to own. It has these van sleeves, just in black, textured sleeves. And it's on this gold, yellow, orange, smoky, clear. Beautiful record. So this is one I'm very happy to own, finally. Come reap. That was what. There is a poster, and he was 
quite honestly gave me a little bit of discount because the posters were used. So there are thumbtacks in there. Ah. A little bit of thumbtack damage. Nothing too bad. So yeah. This uh, Unbelievable. Let's get this in its sleeve. To keep it safe in the blood sleeve. How cool is that? It still has blood. Then, on to the second to last. This is um, another unbelievable the time of no time ever more. Lavish edition, Devil's Blood, uh, gold foil stamped on the cover here. Absolutely beautiful release by Van Records. Really thick, heavy. For those who know the releases, um, it comes loaded with extras. Of course, it is not a triple gate bolt like um, like the other, but it is just a thick gate bolt. The blood sigil and uh, the records are in these sleeves. They have printed inner sleeves for this one. A little bit of steam split damage, but that's unavoidable. Nice purple center labels. Other one would be quite the same, like this. Like I said, still can't believe it. You gotta stop saying I can't believe it. This one comes with a nice, cool booklet, purple, red on purple. The Ouroboros snake on top. I don't know if this will show up because it's lightly red printed. All the lyrics on here. CD, of course, in the back. Yes, CD. Um, yeah. Three of my favorite records. Well, two. And then this is the last one before I leave you guys. Oh, there was something extra with the. Um, here also, thumb tag damage, but nothing completely bad. Maybe I'll frame these, or one of them. And there was this batch that also came with it. That was mine. Then, the last one, you guessed it. It is the monster itself, Thousandfold Epicenter, the Ember Edition, lavish edition on Van Records. This is almost too heavy to hold. Okay, let's see how oh, this falls open. This is a triple wait to get some stuff out. This is a triple gay fold. Oh no. Triple gay folds. Uh, and then there, the booklet is glued in. So that's kind of difficult to see. Let's do it like this. It's glued in. So yeah, I can't show this. But mark my word for it. It's a tick booklet with all the art book and lyrics. Let me get the picture. Um, this, this has to be one of my favorite records, if not. This, this has to be in my top 10, at least. Um, just black with a little double print. And this is also that same color as the Come Reap, the brown, greenish smoke. Um, yeah. This is a monster, this record. And like I said, I was waiting for this one for a long time. The other one has the sigil black and then also also a 
brownish smoky vinyl. That was it. CD. Thousand folds. Epicenter. Is there anything else with this? Yes, there is a un thumbtacked poster. And it is uh, I'm not sure I want to hold this I think like this. Yeah. There you go. Thousand fold of center. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the in my opinion best update I ever did. Kind of flopped it on me. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, this won't happen again for some time, but I'm going to pick some stuff out of the collection to highlight because I only did that room tour and never showed the collection. So let's start showing what I have and then um, sporadically stuff will come in. I uh, have the new Sun record coming in and then that rules the box set. So when will it end? Anyway. I'm going to enjoy these records. I hope you enjoyed this update. It's only metal, of course, but there is only metal.